to have you back on our PGA Tour coverage right here on 2K Sports. We're heading back out to the third hole. Let's get into it. Going with the three iron. Is that what they had in mind? Yeah, trying to draw that one in there, but not committing to it, leaving it out. Well, that should save them, that one from the sand. Putting now for a bogey. He's currently tied for four. The fourth hole here at TPC Southwind is the first par three on the course and it measures just under 200 yards. Just avoid the penalty area to the left. Opting for the six iron. Hoping for a bounce here, preferably to the left. Let's go to John Rahm. 
He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Sitting at plus one. Currently tied for 10th place. Let's get back to it, shall we? And he's down there. You got to read? Just got to use the touch of a feather. Barely has to blow on it. This is just downhill. Ouch, that hurts. Putting for a par here. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. The fifth at TPC Southwind is a long par four measuring 485 yards. It requires a good strong drive to avoid the bunker on the left and then an accurate approach into this green. Quality shot that one. Looks to be going with the four iron. Well, oh, wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie at the fifth. Full of confidence as well with their putter. Gotta like their chances. We'll now move over to John Rahm. Yeah, he needs to press on that gas pedal. He's two strokes back from his rival. Well, that's got to have some impact on the scoreboard. Let's take a look. Heading to the next hole now, and this player is currently in a share of the lead with Brooke Henderson. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. That a boy, good shot. And he's down there. Setting up this shot from about 120. And choosing the eight iron here. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. Missing it short there, they will definitely be upset. Wow, that almost went in the hole. A par part of weights. Currently one under for the day. The seventh at TPC Southwind is a strong par four measuring 482 yards from the back tee. A big clump of trees on the left and the one on the right is to be avoided off the tee. Also, a good angle to attack this green is from the left half of this fairway with a huge greenside tree that also affects any poor approaches. Playing from around 160 yards, he shares the lead. This one's got eyes for the flag stick. Oh, stop it. What a shot. Already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. Yeah, they're good momentum makers, those ones. Good putt for birdie. And that will take him to two under. Checking the scoreboard now. And this player is currently sitting in a tie for the lead with Tiger Woods. The eighth hole at TPC Southwind is a really nice short par three measuring just 164 yards this green has been recently contoured so accuracy or distance control off the tee is paramount John Rahm watched that one all the way great approach shot this player is definitely upping the pressure in this rivalry okay time to return to the action this putt right on 12 feet to the hole this for a birdie birdie run it was on a good line yeah, it's just about three feet away okay let's head to the next just one off the lead after that hole the finishing hole on the front nine here at tpc southwind plays downhill towards a dog leg right there's a big body of water, the short front left of this green, so make sure you've got enough club to reach the surface. Might get caught up in the brush here. Let's go to John Rahm. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. John Rahm getting ready for his next shot. Oh, looks like they're going for the green. Good aggressive play here. Let's return to live play now. Henny, how's that ball lying? It's tough to see from here. Guys, you know the worst lie you've ever seen? 
Yeah, time's up by 10. This is nasty. What a shot from the rough. This is gorgeous. And this from the greenside rough. Oh, that's the hands of a surgeon. Lovely touch. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. The 10th at TPC Southwind is a par four that plays just over 450 yards from the back tee. A lot of players take less than driver here to position their ball for the best approach to an uphill green that has a number of tiers on it. Accuracy on both shots are required. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Yeah, I think he's got around 135. Launched that one into space. Wow. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the 10th. And this part to move into a tie for first. Looks good off the blade. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. And that will take him to three under. This would be a great up and down. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Nicely played, moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. The par 3 11th at TPC Southwind measures just 162 yards. The looks can be deceiving here. While it looks pretty, it can bite you. Make sure you've got enough club here on approach. Choosing the 9-iron here. Not a bad play, that one. Long way away from the hole if they want to make the birdie, though. Standing over this one, and it's a very long putt. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Just didn't drop. An opportunity to make their par. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. The par for 12th There's only a short one measuring 406 yards from the tips. But you need to be very accurate off the tee. Avoid that huge water hazard to the right, and that'll give you the best angle into this green. Any drive that's pushed left will make it a difficult approach, and be wary. There's water over the back of this green, which you can't see. Sitting at minus three, currently tied for top spot. Oh, well done. School card filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. This is on a stupendous line. That's a long range bomb and with it puts extra strain on the person chasing behind them. And it's worth taking another look at that one. I could watch this one all day. Who would have thought that would go in? Now leading by one shot. The 13th at TPC Southwind is a strong par four that plays uphill and a slight dog leg to the right. It requires a big drive up the right half and then a very accurate approach. There's a heavily bunkered green there, so make sure you hit your approach in the right distance. Not bad. This one from about 160 yards out. Currently in the lead by a shot. Going with the eight iron here. This needs to go a little bit right once it lands. We'll now move over to John Rahm. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Let's catch up with the current proceedings. 14 footer. All right, guys. This for two birdies in a row. It's tracking. Okay, steady now. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The 14th at TPC Southwind is one of their signature holes. The par three that plays downhill considerably long, around 240 yards, is hit over a big body of water to the right. Fortune favours the brave here. If you need a birdie, go flag hunting. Otherwise, lay up to around 20 feet left. I'm pretty sure they had their sights set on hitting the green there. This would be a great up and down.
Oh, I thought that one was going in. And if this can go down, he'll save par. And looking at the standings now, and they're currently in first place, ahead of Tiger Woods, who's second. Accuracy is required at the par 4 15th, just 395 yards off the tee. Players like to lay back to give them their right number into this green. And there's a little creek that meanders through the centre of the fairway here and up to the right side of the green. So make sure your approach is accurate. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Let's go to John Rahm. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Mm, maybe going for the green, are we? Time now to play the second shot on the 15th hole. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. And here we are with the third shot. He leads the field by a stroke. Wow. Oh, that almost went in. Just a short putt remaining here. Still in the lead now after that hole. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. The 16th at TPC Southwind is the last genuine birdie hole on the course. It's a par five measuring just 530 yards, but there's a lot required on the tee shot that's played uphill to a ridge. If you can get it up over the rise, a good chance for reaching the green here in two to set up a birdie and even perhaps eagle. But be wary of this green. There's a big bunker short left. And if you find it, it's not an easy up and down. Well, maybe even a par can be hard. Uh, that's going right. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Two big hits there, knocking in on this par five and two. Putting for an eagle. Rolling end over end. This putt's looking great. Just building upon his advantage. He keeps making the important plays. And that will take him to six under. He sits in first position. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Well, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. Oh, really leaned on that tee shot. That went forever. Well, to become the champion at TPC Southwind, you need to hit some big shots down the stretch, and there's none tougher than this approach into 17. The green sits just below the player, flanked by bunkers both right and left. The green is long and narrow, and does generally move from right to left. All in all, one of the most difficult approaches on this golf course. Yes, they've made it. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. We'll now move over to John Rahm. He's feeling good, just birdied the last hole. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. Well, the finishing hole at TPC Southwind is an absolute beauty. There's been some heroic moments like hole-out eagles, and there's been triple bogeys that have cost championships. Your job is to get the ball safely into the fairway here. If you're not a long driver, don't take on the corner. But if you can, it'll leave you just a short iron in, a chance to seal a victory with a birdie. And this shot from about 150 yards out. Opting for the nine iron. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. And this putt is for a final score of 62. Get the fist pump. And in goes the winning putt. What a moment, Rich. Backing up the Brinks truck once again this week. Filling it up. And let's have one more look at that shot. What an amazing putt from way out.
That's stepping up at the right time, Rich, getting a victory in the FedEx Cup playoffs. This is where it pays to perform. FedEx Cup wins, playoff wins, massive accomplishment. Good job. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.
2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the second stop of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today's coverage of the BMW Championship is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course, following our featured group. Hey, Luke and Rich. I'm looking forward to treading the fairways again with these two because they were absolute fire the first time round. And I have a feeling that after their exchanges on social media, it'll be even more spicy out here. Yeah, we've got an exciting match coming your way, so stick around and let's see who wins it. That's a nice looking tee shot, that one. Time for the second shot into the first. They're going with a bit more club here. Let's see if it was the right call. Left yourself an opportunity. What's in front of them, Henny? Setting up this putt 22 feet from the cup. Can you hear those tweets? This is what they have left for birdie here. Come on, ball. Don't deny him. That's a good putt to make. That sets the great players from the good ones. I've never been disappointed by starting off my round with a birdie, Luke. I can tell you that. And reached the second hole in play for the championship is a little different than the round in the members' face. It's the 13th on the card. Take us through it. It is. It's a very strong par three, just over 210 yards. But this green is very deep, so it wouldn't surprise me to see this hole playing somewhere over the 225-yard mark. It's very narrow, very long, and very difficult. Putting for birdie here. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies never hurt, Rich. Gotta like it. He's feeling it. Now switching our focus to Lydia Ko. She had a bad previous hole, came off with bogey. And how did that great shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Now we head to the first of the par fives in operation, the third hole, Rich. Big hitters will be able to take advantage and drive it over those bunkers down the right-hand side, leaving a very straightforward and basic second shot back up the hill. Well, I could watch that swing all day. That's beautiful. <laughs> Getting ready to play their third. That's a high-quality recovery shot. Judging it beautifully. The putt drops, and we're moving on. And at the end of that hole, he's gone into clear outright leader. Reached the fourth hole, a relatively short par four. At 400 yards, yes, Luke. Big hitters once again can take the fairway bunkers out of play. Second shot again will be uphill to a ginormous green. Another birdie opportunity coming up for this player. It's a good start to the day. Let's hope they can keep up the good form. Yeah, that one's looking good. Oh, tidy looking shot, that. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Oh, what about this start? trying to make a statement early and often. Why don't we catch up with what Lydia goes up to? Coming off a bogey on the last hole. Sadly, in the sand, but a chance to make up for the error. Yeah, that mighty shot was certainly worth a move up the leaderboard. Let's see what it's done. Rich, we head to the fifth on the property and we really need to position our tee shots here, don't we? 
We do. This is a very interesting, cool hole, Luke. This is kind of like a fairway and then second shot green and not much else out there that you really want any part of. Missed the fairway bunker down the left-hand side. Don't hit it in there because you're going to make at least five, if not worse. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Ooh, that was a bit wayward. He hit that pretty loose. Yep, that's a water ball. Playing their fourth shot. Currently leading by a three. That dog will hunt. This putt is of nine feet. Oh, so close. And just about eight feet left to the hole. Oh, just missed. This is a triple bogey attempt here. Currently one under for the event. Rich, the sixth hole's a par four measuring under 400 yards, but there's still plenty of focus needed here. There, it's just a straightaway hole loop. A lot of players can go ahead and take a long iron and just wedge it on from there. I still think, though, the big hitters are going to give it a run and just take out the driver and whip it on up there. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Any bounce to the left here would be helpful. Now switching our focus to Lydia Ko. She's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. OK, let's get back to it, shall we? Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Setting up this putt 21 feet from the cup. He's staring down a birdie putt here. This is buckets. Well, that'll play. And with it, he'll move to a couple under par. He finds himself in a share of the lead. There's always a sense of excitement striding onto the tee of a par three hole. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Well, that's beautifully judged. Well, this one for back-to-back -back birdies. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Tweet, tweet. This is for two birdies. And that putt will give them birdie number six on the day. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. This hole here is a par four. Well, that's a handy shot. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Setting up here from about 195 yards. Now, I don't know if they meant to do that. That's just inside the range. Outside chance for Birdie here, Luke. Ooh. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. Five feet coming up to the cup. And down she goes. Why don't we catch up with what Lydia goes up to? She's currently trailing her rival. Let's see what happens here. And let's see what that super shot did to the leaderboard. Yeah, this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. The finishing hole on the outward half, the ninth, another good par four. It is, Luke. The fairway pinches in significantly where those bunkers come into play, both right and left. Second shot, slightly uphill to once again one of the largest greens on the golf course. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Currently in the lead by a shot. Looks to be going with the six iron. Nicely done. The chance to move deeper under the card. This putts for four under.
Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? What are we looking at for this part, Henny? The perfect leave. Uphill can be firm. That was a gallant attempt. And this one is for Bogey. Now switching our focus to Lydia Ko. Yeah, she's down, she's behind, her rivals scooting ahead. Let's see what happens. Tied at the top, Rich, with the back nine here left today. Yeah, you always want to be up or in the lead going in the final line holes. That's what they practice for. That's what they want to be. They want to be in this position. Let's see how it all plays out. Wow, that was just striped. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. Currently tied for the lead. Going with the pitching wedge here. Oh, what a lovely shot. He'll be delighted to be inside the range there. This putt will move them to three under par. It was on a good line. Just a four-footer remaining. Yep, tracking nicely. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Teeing off now at the 11th hole. Got to say, just some of the best rhythm in the game. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up from about 100 yards. He really got that one out there. Fantastic drive. Pretty good shot there. Why don't we catch up with what Lydia goes up to? She's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. A chance to get to three under with this putt. Rolling end to end is looking nice. Just a couple of inches away from finding that one. And as we check in on the standings, this player currently shares top spot alongside Bubba Watson. Uh, not quite the shot he was wanting. And just in the first cut here. And here we are with the third shot. He's currently tied for the lead. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Lots of greens and regulations today for this player, but not so on this occasion. How close was that to going down? Well done. That takes the pressure off the putt. That's a chip to be proud of. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. And after that hole, the standings have this player in second place, just behind Tiger Woods. Going with the six iron here. This looks to be heading to the green. What a skillful approach shot. This player not holding back in their rivalry with Lydia Ko. Ooh, right by the hole. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. This is what they have left for par here. Well done. 
Now switching our focus to Lydia Ko. She's currently trailing her rival. Let's see what happens here. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Currently two under for the day. Ooh, bold play here. Going with the Chief off the tee. That should find the fairway. Second shot here on the 14th hole. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. Getting ready to play their third. One stroke off the lead. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. And with that, he'll move to three under par. Why don't we catch up with what Lydia goes up to? She made bogey, gave one back on the last hole. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The 15th for the tournament is the 17th on the golf course, Rich, a long par three. It is just over 220 yards to so a heart-shaped green, but I can promise you, Luke, there is nothing lovely about this hole. It is strong. There's water left that you want no part of. You bail out to the right. You're in the bunkers. I'm going to take three and move on to the next. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Has to putt this one downhill. Okay, steady now. Putting for par. Okay, so that's safely in the hole, and now just one one shot off the pace as we head to the stretch. Really going to have to dig deep here if they want to win this title. It's finished with a flurry. It'd be nice to make a move up the leaderboard. That's not what he had hoped for, I'm pretty sure of that. Setting up in some very deep rough. Needs a little ground help to the left. And he's safely on the green. Now switching our focus to Lydia Ko. Yeah, she's down, she's behind. Her rival's scooting ahead. Let's see what happens. Trying to get it to four under with this putt. I really hope this one drops for him. Ouch, that hurts. He can sense an opportunity here. Hey, that's a chance. Tiger Woods back in his familiar spot, currently in the lead as we head to the next tee. Couple of strong finishing holes to finish up here, Rich. First, let's take a look at the 17th. Yeah, it's just about 420 yards, and you want to favor down the left-hand side as this fairway does move left to right. You avoid those fairway bunkers. The second shot, you have to be precise with your distance control because this green has got a lot of movement on it, a lot of little bowls to it. And taking aim from around 100 yards here, just one stroke off the lead. This one's going right at the pin here. Gee, it's metronomic here, green after green. Gee, golf looks easy when you're playing like this. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. Super shot that, and that will take him to four under. And that makes him tied for first. And the finishing hole at the south course of Wilmington's famous country club. Uh, Rich, a really good par four. Just over 440 yards. The bunker down the right-hand side off the tee is only reachable for the big hitters. Second shot slightly back up the hill to a two-tiered green. Distance control is imperative. From around 120 yards here, he shares top spot. Oh, 
not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. We need something special to happen to get the birdie here. And it's all come down to this. Make this putt and win the event. Looking really good. And that is a great performance. Winning the second event of the FedEx Cup playoffs, driving away with the BMW Championship. And this will set them up going into the Tour Championship in prime position to walk away with the entire FedEx Cup. What a tournament this was. Fantastic victory. Well, when it comes to performances that they'll remember, that certainly has to be one of them. What a brilliant play today. Yes, Luke, we doubted them, but they got the job done and they took down their hero. The rivalry is theirs and theirs alone. And they can boast about this on social media for, well, weeks now. Well, another great day of action here at 2K Sports. On behalf of Rich Beam, the entire hardworking folks and team here, I'm Luke Elvey. We look forward to your company next time.